All right, so today I got a treat for you guys. Today we're gonna be making tripletas. Puerican triple. It's called triple because it's got three kinds of meat in a sandwich. We're gonna make those sandwiches and I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. Super easy, you can do this anywhere you are. And I can't wait, I'm so excited because today you're gonna see, you're gonna see this sandwich is amazing. It's just amazing. All right, so what you basically, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need some uh, bistec, some steak, you're gonna need some pork, okay? You're gonna need some ham. And so how, what I do is, I get some, uh, this is some, the, uh, the sliced uh, chopped steak, and this is just pork shot, lime, and I got some ham steak, okay? I'm gonna do a tripleta with the three meat that I got here. You're gonna add some lettuce, you're gonna add some tomatoes, you're gonna have some cheese, you're gonna have some mayo ketchup, you're gonna have some papitas, you're gonna have some bread, you're gonna get that bread going, and you're gonna take it, and you're gonna eat it, you're gonna enjoy this video. You're gonna see how I'm gonna do this tripleta, cause it's gonna be good, stay tuned, cause this tripleta is amazing. Watch what I'm gonna do, watch what I'm gonna do now, watch what I'm gonna do. Are you there? So far, if you like this video, like, give me some like, give me some like, give me some like, and if you're not a subscriber, it's time to subscribe. It's time to subscribe. I know you watch my videos. Subscribe. I know you enjoy watching this video. I got so much good stuff for you guys. All right, so let's let's begin. Let's begin. Let's begin. I'm so excited. Let's begin doing this. All right, so basically what you want to do, you want to cut the ham. And I'm going to show you how small little chunks, little cubes. That's what you want to do. You want to do cubes. So everything that you're gonna cut here is gonna be in cubes. Small tiny cubes. We like it a lot. In this house we love tripletas. And I don't do this every day. I haven't done it for a while, so this is gonna be a nice treat, a nice treat for us. And like I said, if you don't use all the ham, you always put it away, put it in the freezer. That's what I do, I put it my ham in the freezer. Nice chunks of ham and make sure that ham has a little bit of fatty. Don't take the fat because that fat is juicy stuff. It's gonna give you flavor, like I say, and I got the bone here on the top. Alright? So now I'm gonna rinse this and I'm gonna start cutting the steak. Nice and thin cut cut. I wanna show you, I wanna show you how it is. See? Flat steak. And we're gonna cut it in little pieces, just like just like that. We're gonna cut this in little pieces. Nice tiny cubes pieces. Oh man. You guys gonna have a good treat. I'm doing a tripleta, Puerto tripleta today. There we go, that's the beef. There's the steak right there. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Nice steak. I'm gonna cut it this way and then I'm gonna cut it the other way. All right, so I we rinse this, we're gonna get the pork. And the pork are so much easier to cut. like this all right so I got the three meats in here I got the pork I got the beef and I got the ham okay once you do this you want to season them however you like to season them salt black pepper oregano garlic powder however you like to season them I'm gonna season them my way and I, I'm, I'm gonna put my stuff what I like to put on here so Put garlic powder everywhere. Garlic oil makes a good season. Good mix for everything. All right, so there you go. That's the meat. Nice little chunks. 
All right, so what I do next is I got a big pan. I got olive oil here that I put, not much, just a little bit. I got some garlic. All right, so we got the garlic, the olive oil, the bay leaf that we're gonna put now, because this, this stuff is gonna bring her to a nice taste, nice flavor, okay? And we're gonna put some sofrito, and sofrito, if you don't know, I made a video of sofrito. I'm gonna put two spoons of sofrito there. They are amazing. The flavor is amazing. All right. The first thing you're gonna add here, you're gonna add the steak. You're gonna break that steak. Now you add your pork, right in the middle, right in the middle. Don't be shy, just add the pork. Now you can mix the whole thing. Wow. Oh, it smells good in here. That ham, right in the middle, right in the middle. All right, so now, that you got this going, you got the ham already there, now you're gonna mix it. You're gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna cover it, and I'm gonna put it right, in, I think in the right in the middle between low and medium. All right, so what I have here is, I got my onions, my tomatoes, and I got my lettuce, nice and red. Got the tomato there, and I got my my lettuce, which I'm not gonna cut. I'm gonna leave the whole lettuce. Just gotta make sure that it's nice and dry. All right, so we have here mayo and ketchup. Very simple. Now, a tripleta, if you don't have mayo ketchup, okay, let's put it this way. In the pico of the gallo, where you do pico gallo, if you don't have cilantro, it's not pico gallo, right? So, basically, if you don't have mayo ketchup in the tripleta, it's not tripleta. That's how important is the mayo ketchup in the tripleta. And I'm gonna show you how to do mayo ketchup if you don't know how to do it. There's a lot of ways to do mayo ketchup. I'm gonna do the simple way to do mayo ketchup. You put ketchup. Put mayo. And how you know it's the correct amount I'm gonna show you how you know. Cause you don't want it too light, you don't want it too red between the middle. So I'm gonna give you an example. That color. No light, you need to have that color. All right, so it's time to uncover it. And you see you got a lot of liquid there. Do not worry about the liquid. Do not worry about the liquid because the liquid is just the fat of the meat. So now that we're almost ready, look at this. Wow, beautiful. Okay, so now that we're almost ready, we could put this in medium just a little bit more than medium. I wanna say medium high, because we wanna try to evaporate a little bit more of that liquid, 
okay? And we're not gonna cover it this time. We're just gonna leave it there and try to evaporate, evaporate that liquid, which that liquid is, mm, is all tasty, but we don't wanna put that in the sandwich. So we wanna evaporate that liquid. Don't forget these, these are very important for the tripleta. Just like this is important, this is important too, okay? All right, so it doesn't have that much liquid now. Everything is evaporated. Everything is done. Take a knife. We're gonna make the first tripleta. All right, so you're gonna cut your bread. You're gonna add some lettuce. Nice lettuce in there. There you go. You're gonna add tomatoes. There you go. You're gonna add onions. Just a little bit of onions in there. You're gonna add the meat there. Just like this. And you're gonna add just a little bit there. And you're gonna add some cheese. And you're gonna add more meat. You want that cheese to melt in that meat. It's right there. And don't be shy with the meat. It's gonna go all over, so be careful. Just like that. Okay? So now you're gonna add mayo ketchup, just like that. You're gonna have some fries, just like that. And that's your tripleta right there. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, comment if you do want tripleta like this one. Let me know, I wanna know. And thank you again for watching this video. And I'll see you next time to the next video. Keep safe and I'll see you.